guys and welcome back to my channel so in this video I decided to talk about this topic because funny I never really do I just kind of do my hair and I move on but I do not follow the curly girl method and that's just that hasn't been something that like sparked my interest let's just get into it what I did was I went ahead because I didn't really know what the curly girl method was I'm gonna just keep it funky with y'all I didn't know what it was honey so I just went ahead and Googled it and I pulled up Naturally Curly and this is what their site looked like. Y'all can't see it. But this is what I'm looking at. So if you're on your phone and you want to search for it and you pulled it up, this is what it is. I'll link it below so y'all can check it out. And it says, how to follow the curly girl method. I don't know if all of you guys have seen this. But yeah, it's, it's on the web. I, like I said, I'll link it below if you haven't seen it. But at the top of the chart, they have what to avoid. So it basically tells you what you avoid if you want to go through with the curly girl method, right? Right. So what to avoid, okay? Shampoo. Heat. Combs and brushes, fragrance, sulfates, non-water soluble silicones, and alcohol. Honestly, I don't follow any of this. First, Okay, so the first one, shampoo. I understand why the curly girl method says to not use shampoo. We already know why, because curls get very dry. So basically they're saying, you know, avoid shampoos because curls need a lot of moisture, right? I don't agree with that. We also need to cleanse our scalp. So, I do use shampoos. You guys should already know. I've talked about this. Cleansing your scalp is very, very, very important. You should not be not using shampoo. Trust me, guys. I have done it. I have done the co-wash only thing, and my hair didn't had my hair has never flourished the way my hair is flourishing now. Like my hair is so beautiful. It's so healthy. It's so thick. It's and it's grown so much. So I definitely have to contribute that to actually shampooing my hair and cleansing my scalp. That has been one of the biggest things I would have to say to my whole hair growth journey. When I stop using those co-washes so often, everything just kind of, I don't know. I just feel like everything just started flowing. So yeah, do not avoid shampoos. I mean, you can, but I'm just telling you guys, I do not avoid shampoos. Like, I love shampoos. All right, heat. Clearly... I haven't given up any heat. I don't know if they meant just direct heat or what, but it just says heat. I actually sit under a hooded dryer every time I do my washing goes. So there you go for that. Heat's already applied every wash day. I don't air dry. I sit under a hooded dryer every single time. You know, you kind of got to figure out what is good for your hair and what's not necessarily good for your hair. And my hair just... It really dries really well when I sit on a hooded dryer. When you deep condition, you sit with, hood, with hooded dryer, so that's heat. Just avoiding heat is definitely a good thing, but in some cases, you need heat. Like deep conditioning, you need heat. You can't necessarily steam your hair without heat. It's heat, it's water, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, we are in a learning stage, guys. We are learning our hair, and you know, everything that we thought was bad ain't necessarily as horrible as you might have thought, right? Y'all die from eco or not? You know, so my honest opinion would be to tell you guys to just know your hair, make sure your hair is healthy before you start adding all this stuff. Now, if your hair is not healthy, as you saw in my last video, your hair is going to tell you. So just make sure you're doing the proper procedures to combat whatever is happening with your hair. So the third one is combs and brushes. That, honey, honey, ooh, I mean, okay. I know finger detangling is amazing. It is amazing, y'all. It is. But there's something about the Felicia Leatherwood that just makes you say yes, okay? If y'all haven't tried that Felicia Leatherwood brush, you are doing yourself a disjustice, honey, because that brush is legit lit, for real. Oh, and I, I forgot to mention, y'all, I am, I do have a cold, but don't even worry about it, because we come through, okay? This video going up three times a week, you know what I'm saying? I mean, finger detangling is great and all, but I just feel like there's just times where I want to use combs and brushes. Like, I my leather, I meant my leather. Did I just say leather? Oh my god, why do I do this? My Felicia Leatherwood brush is 
so nice, so lit. So I love that thing. I love a wet brush. I love a wide tooth comb. I like a little hard bristle brush. I like this for my edges. Listen, we got we got some tools, okay? We're not avoiding all of that. So, um, no, ma'am. Um, fragrance. <laughs> I think. I mean. I don't necessarily go reading my ingredients and not using a product because it has fragrance. You guys know I am actually big on fragrance. Like, if the product don't smell good, then a lot of the natural hair products don't necessarily have fragrance. It's just, like, natural, like, oils and scents and stuff. But I'm just saying, like, that's just something I don't necessarily look for and say, oh, I'm not going to use this product because it has fragrance in it. Like, I'm just not that natural. But I am that natural that, like, to smell good when I do a little... You know what I'm saying? Like, I want y'all to be like, ooh, you smell so good, you know? And I ain't even got to smell good. All right, so then it says sulfates. It says to avoid sulfates. Now, sulfates, as you guys know, is a cleaning agent. It kind of really cleans your hair. Um, some, I, sometimes I feel like my hair needs a, a sulfate. I like shampoos sometimes to have sulfates. I don't even know what to say. Like, I just do. Like, I just don't avoid them. That's just not, not something I avoid. My hair is just fine. I mean, I don't go saying, oh my God, this product needs to have sulfates in it. But I just don't think avoiding sulfates is something that I need to do. Most of the products don't have sulfates in them, which is great. But I don't have to not have a sulfate. Now, silicone and paraben... I try to really stay away from because, you know, silicones kind of coat the hair and mm, all that. And then parabens on a whole nother level of hell and all, so you just go and cancel them. But sulfates, I'm kind of okay with. Like, it's not a diehard, like, oh my God, if I have a sulfate in my product. Um, Non-water-soluble silicones, I can get with that. Like, that, I can get with that. And then it says alcohols, which there are some good alcohols and some bad alcohols. It just said alcohol, so I don't know. I don't know. So, I mean, yeah, y'all, I just do not follow the Curly Girl method. Those are just some things that I just, I, mainly, I don't avoid any of them. <laughs> I am completely the opposite of the Curly Girl method, basically, is what this website is saying. I am the complete opposite, and I'm okay with that. It's crazy, y'all. I take advice from all types of people. I don't care what... What's your nationality? I li I read a lot on about hair. Like, it's not even funny. Like, that's my job. It's my life. Everything has been trial and error for me. And this is just things that I feel like, you know, it's not a, a hey, if you don't do the curly girl method, your hair is not going to grow. That's definitely not the case because your girl. You, your girl ain't. I'm just kidding. I'm just going to have to play it. Don't click off the video, friend. I'm sorry. <laughs> y'all know I have to entertain y'all, so I got to wait. But my throat a little so... I think I done pushed a little too hard because I'm already sick. I hope you guys like this video. I just kind of wanted to talk about it. I don't know. Let me know below if you follow the Curly Girl Method. If you do follow the Curly Girl Method, which one of those um, little things to avoid do you avoid? Do you avoid all of them? Some of them? None of them? Wet, wet, wet. All right, guys. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.